Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a band system in Roblox. So we're going to be ba making a band system, so we're going to be making in-game bands. So um, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool, in experience bands. Um, so first of all, you're going to want to go to the Create tab up here, and it'll spring you to this page. Make anything you can imagine with our free and immersive creation engine. And it says start creating and managing my experiences. Make anything. A Roblox Studio allows you to and lets you cre to create anything and release one click to smartphones, tablets, desktop consoles, and virtual reality reality devices. So yeah, this is a pretty cool platform. Today we're going to be making a ban system. So we can ban um, exploiters and uh, all those types of stuffs. And yeah, we're going to be banning, we're, we're going to be learning how to ban them so we can add a, a bit more security to our game. So first of all, you, yeah, you click on the create, you're going to want to click on start creating and then click on open Roblox studio. So it's going to start your Roblox Studio, and it should load up. So then you're going to want to click on Classic Base Plate, and then it loads up a place for, for you. Now we're going to have to make a part. So if you go up to the top up here, you should see the Parts button. If you click on it, then it will insert a part. So... Now we're going to um, scale the part. You're going to want to make sure it's big enough so uh, the players cannot just jump off. Just um, d when they spawn, they, they, they just jump off the part. And then pe that wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good. So we want it to be uh, 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 big enough so, it c so players don't um, j try to j tr jump off the part. Uh, just don't j jump off in the part and they don't get banned. Oh, wait. For a okay, there you go. Um, I, I'm sorry, I, so, I, something happened. So now I'm going to make this as big as I can. And there you go. So now you're going to want to make a transparency one. So you're going to want to make sure you have the properties window open. Click on view and then you will click on properties. Um, then you're gonna want to click, and then you're gonna want to change the transparency to one. Then you can drag this into the air by hitting the move tool up here. So I'm gonna click it. Then I'm gonna use the arrow to drag it up. Now you're gonna want to um, name the part. So we're gonna hit right, right click it, and then click on rename. Then you're gonna want to type in van parts. So this is gonna be the band part. What, where the players are, they they're gonna touch the part and then they get banned. So then you're gonna want to make sure that the part is anchored and then make sure that can collide is false. So then they go through the part. So now you're gonna want to insert a script. Then you're gonna want to call the script ban one. So you have to make multiple scripts, um, ban two, ban three. So we're gonna do stuff like that. Um, we're going to remove print hello world. Let's remove that. Then you're going to want to start typing script.parent.touched. Touch. Connect. Function. And then hit. Hit is the parameter. Um, and touched. So script is the actual script that we're inside of. And then parent is um, the band part. Dot touch and that's an event. That's an event. So whenever they touch the part, the, all this code inside of here will um um will fire um or activate. So we're gonna type in if no it, yeah if hit dot parent dot name equals equals um and then the name they want to ban. So that would be I will type in scripted. Uh, I'm going to type in player one. S nah, actually, it's scripted ocean. So, 
and then type and then we're gonna put in then then we're gonna do type in hit dot parent um no wait wait S local I made a mistake local player equals game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent player um play player colon kick and then we're going to want to put in quotations in quotations this is the player kick message so i'm going to put in banned from this game so this is going to be the banned message this is going to be like um how what why they got banned and explain why they got banned and and yeah and then if you want to remove their ban um, you're gonna want to click on the ban script, ban one script, then disable, and then you should see disabled, then change that to um, false. And you also, whenever you want to uh, update the ban, you also have to publish it to Roblox. But I'm not going to do that right now. So, yeah. So, and then if you want to make multiple bans, go into the. You're gonna want to. You're gonna want to duplicate. Do Command D. On the script, then you're gonna to want to call it band two. Then you're gonna to want to go into the script, and then you can edit the name. I'm gonna change it to um my fr my friend. I uh, well, yeah, my brother. So we're gonna make it eyes that see the lies. So that's basically this is my this is my brother's username. So you have to insert their username, not their display name. Because there is a new update called display name, so don't enter in the display name of the user. Enter in the Roblox username. Um, if and if you don't know the Roblox username, you have to kind of find, figure it out because that's that's kind of important to know what their this. You have to know what their username is, not their display name. So then you can make different band messages. So I can say this is cool guy. And then th when they get banned, they'll say it'll say this is a cool guy. So now we're going to play it, and then it's it. And for me, I set my ban message to be banned from this game. And and if you want to disable the scripts I already taught you, just click disable, and then they, they both get disabled. Um. And yes, I guess that's the end of the tutorial. Um, if you want to test out, if you want to test with multiple players, um, we're going to enable these. Um, if you want to test with multiple players and your game isn't published, then you can go to hit.parent.name equals equals and then player one. Um, this has to be exact. You can, it can be whatever you want. And then put, put in player two. So we're going to test with two players. So you're going to want to go to the test tab up here. Then you're going to want to click on start and it'll, and make sure you select tool two. And then it'll start up two s test servers. Um, it's starting up then up. I'm sorry if my computer lags too much because t test servers take a lot of space on your com t a lot of memory on your computer. So the first mess ban message was you are kicked from this experience. Uh, for, you were banned from this game. But the other one, the other one, let me see. So if I, I leave the game on that, and then if I go to my other guy, my other player, um, wait, where is it? Wait, where is it? Oh my god, I lost it. So basically, it would for the other player. I my mine is just so bad. Um, it's all screwed. Um, so basically, for the for the other player, it would show up. It for the other player, it would show up. This is cool guy. So, I hopefully you love you like this tutorial. I'm gonna change it back to eyes. I see the lies. Um, you can leave now, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next tutorial, guys. And I'm gonna see you in the yeah. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.